students today we will work on addition and subtraction problems we will solve many problems involving decimals to two decimal places before we start it's important to remember this rule related to any problem what pound is equal to 100 pence in these questions we will use jumps on a number line to get to the required answers so let's look at the first question if you have bought a cab for 4.85 pounds and have given a 10 pound note to the shopkeeper, how much change will you get back? Pause now and try to solve this question using a number line. Welcome back. Let's check your answer. In this question, what will we do to calculate the value of change we receive? I know we should calculate the difference between 4.85 pounds and 10 pounds as that is the remaining amount that we did not use to buy anything. Absolutely right. So on the number line, this is the amount we have to find. Let's find this difference using two jumps. The first jump will be from 4.85 pounds to the nearest whole number that is 5 pounds. The second jump will be from 5 pound to 10 pound. Looking at these two jumps separately makes it easier to solve our questions involving decimals. Now let's calculate the value of these jumps. Looking at the first jump, what is the difference between 4.85 pound and 5 pound? Hmm, that is 0 0.15 pounds or 15 pence. Absolutely correct. Now what about the second jump's value? Oh, that's easy. It is 5 pounds. Very smart. That's right. Then tell me, what will be the difference between 4.85 pounds and 10 pounds? We will add these two jumps together to get the total difference, which is 5.15 pounds. Yes, that's correct. Let's look at another question. If you have paid 7.63 pounds for the pencil case that you have taken, and have paid 10 pound note to the shopkeeper. Calculate the change you will get back. Pause this video now and try to solve it using three jumps on a number line. You are back. I hope you have solved it. Let's look at the solution. Let's follow the same procedure to calculate the difference between 7.63 pounds and 10 pounds. This time, let's use three jumps to make our calculation easier. The first jump will be from 7.63 pounds to the next tenth number after it, that is 7.7 .7 pounds. The first jump will then be of the value 0 0.07 pounds. Yes, what about the second jump from 7.7 .7 pounds to the next whole number? What will be the next whole number in the value of the jump? The next whole number is 8 pounds and then the jump will be of 0 0.30 pounds. Excellent. Can you tell me what will be our final jump? Hmm, it will be from 8 pounds to 10 pounds, right? Yes, definitely. This will be of value 2 pounds. So what is the amount of change we will receive? This will be 0 0.07 pounds plus 0 0.30 pounds plus 2.00 pounds, which will then equal to 2.37 pounds. Absolutely. Great job. Wonderful work today, students. You have done it yet again. But remember, you have to practice to strengthen your skills and send your work to Google Classroom. See you next time. Bye.